Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink. This week is five days of no social media. What happens on social media stays on Google forever. My co-producer assigned me to do five days on a social media cleanse. And because this is my job, I have no choice. Every single time I make one of these videos, you get my little name popping up right here. That's my Instagram handle and my Twitter handle. This is how I communicate with you guys. There is definitely a bit of a generational discrepancy when it comes to the way that society tells us that social media contributes to our lives. Personally, I'm at a crossroads when it comes to social media because I use it for two very different things. One thing, and something you guys might not know about me, I'm a stop motion artist. And I have turned my Instagram feed into a productive, creative platform that allows me to make both art and money. But on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, social media can be, for me, an endless, soul-sucking void of emojis and red hearts, hashtagging, tweeting, Instagramming, liking, commenting. This week, I want to gain a better understanding of that crossroads for myself. Am I actually addicted or am I being creative and adding art into the world and inspiring other people? Starting right now, Monday morning, time to log out of my app. Being famous on Instagram is pretty much the same thing as being rich in Monopoly. It's not real, so everybody can just calm down. A couple of times already, my fingers have automatically navigated to the spot on my phone where these social media apps used to live. I'm learning that I reach for social media when I'm in moments of transition from place to place when I don't have much else to do. Not having access to these apps has caused me to be a little bit more aware of my surroundings. To see if I'm really addicted or to see if I'm just a media-loving millennial who has embraced the digital revolution. I'm bringing you guys into my place of work, Refinery29. I think it's really interesting in a week without social media to be in a place like this where social media is so integral to our daily operations. While some people in other fields might get in trouble for Snapchatting at work, we at Refinery actually have a team of people whose sole job here is to create content exclusively for Snapchat. Anyone on the social media team will tell you that it's real hard work. And they work extremely hard to cultivate this ongoing relationship that Refinery29 has with our audience. Hashtag man bun. Today, I took a coffee break with my friend Lauren Magenta. She is a food photographer, yet another person who uses her social media feeds for business. We had our lattes and our donuts, perfect for that perfect Instagram post. And I do have to admit, I felt an ounce of FOMO back when I went a week without my phone. I spoke to a psychologist. She told me that getting social media likes and comments acts as a type of reward for us because of the chemical that it releases in our brains. I mean, when I go to a cafe, do I even order what I'm ordering because I want it? Or do I order it because I think it will look good in a photo? In the absence of photographing the donuts to post them on social media, I just got to eat the donuts. I had a good midday snack. So on Instagram, once you hit 11 likes, all of the names disappear and it starts counting up. So 11 likes or you should probably delete it. This week, I've been thinking a lot about my Facebook wall, my Instagram feed, my Pinterest boards. Honestly, no matter how hard I try to convince myself that everything that I put up there is only for me, I think that there's no denying that a bit of what we post, if not most of it, is intended for other people. Today, I decided no more of that. I'm making myself a wall. Similar to my Facebook wall, but instead, it's literally going up on the wall of my bedroom. People I love, things that I love. Without likes, comments, without affirmation from others, this is what makes me smile. It's for me, and only me, and that makes me happy. I don't care about how many followers I have. It really doesn't matter. Oh wait, this? It's vintage. Follow 
Am I addicted to social media? I don't think so. It was not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Here's what I'm hoping you guys take away from this week. I think social media is a huge community of movers, shakers, makers, and whether you have five followers or five million followers, these small niche creative communities can provide you with the opportunity to connect with people that you never would have met otherwise. For a creative brain, I think that this is a very important platform. I believe that if you put into this community, what you get out of it can also be very positive. I'm not leaving this week saying I'm gonna cut myself off from all forms of social media. Rather, what I've taken away from this week was to remember to inspire myself. And for me, it was that literal social feed hanging on my wall. What is that for you? Are you a writer? If so, maybe keep a journal next to your bed. Are you a musician? Sing yourself a song every night. Try giving up social media for a week. Let me know how it feels. Send me a tweet. Send me an Instagram direct message. See you on social media. Are you tired of living alone? Try living with me, Lucy, instead. Subscribe to Refinery29 for more episodes of Try Living with Lucy. I promise I'm really fun.